Welcome to the New Song Cafe at worshiptogether.com. Today we have Joel Houston with us from Hillsong. He'll be sharing his song, Take Heart. We hope you enjoy this New Song Cafe. Joel and Dylan, good to see you guys. It's great to be here with you at your home church in Hillsong here in Sydney. And um, man, excited to hear uh, some of these new songs that are coming out. Um, we're going to be taking a listen to a song called Take Heart, um, which is it's really amazing on the recording. I think it's like eight minutes long. It just builds and builds and builds. It's really, really great. But um, talk a little bit about the song and kind of just where, where the idea came from. I think you might have wrote this one on your own. And uh, So talk about that. Yeah, it's, um, this song was, it's a beast <laughs> in a good way. Um, but it, it's, it, um, I actually started writing it probably three years ago. And um, I uh, was away on holidays and, um, and I... I'd, I'd um, sliced my foot wide open and I had to have surgery and I was on crutches and it was like the weather was beautiful and it'd been a really busy year and I had like two weeks off and here I was cooped up on a lounge um, and I went, I was you know a long way from home so I went down to the music store and I just bought this little tiny baby uh, guitar just to have something to do mm -hmm. and I remember sitting on the on the couch for, for forever just kind of and I was just I, I wrote that kind of the riff that is happening at the beginning so I just I'd play it over and over again and then you know we'd be having conversations or whatever and I was always playing this kind of piece of music and and then um, the song kind of flowed out of it and it's interesting that, that the song's called Take Heart given I was wallowing on a lounge <laughs> in the middle of summer you know while all my friends surfed and had a great time but um, it's, it actually goes a lot deeper than that and I actually um, a lot of this song came out of that period, you know, um, uh, of time just after, I guess, the GFC hit. And um, there was a lot of kind of doomsday and kind of, um, there's a lot of talk around, like, you know, obviously a lot of people were, were facing a lot of challenges. And even in our world at the time, there'd just been a bunch of stuff that just, I mean, it's just life for everybody. I think everybody um, at some point or another, you know, feels pain or, or goes through a hard time. It's it's uh, a universal experience for, and, uh, and I think, you know, um, the, Jesus, he makes no allusions to the fact that in this life that we'll have troubles, you know, um, but he says, but take heart because I've overcome the world. And I just love that thought. And, um, and so that's kind of where this song came out of and, uh, and this sense of, you know, what our God has overcome. So no matter what the circumstances, no matter what's going on, how dire, um, the truth is that, that, that Jesus has overcome the world mm. and, and we can find courage in that. Yeah, it's amazing just talking to, to worship writers how many songs of encouragement came out of, of that financial crisis time. Yeah. Uh, there was like this, the church responded in, with all of these great mm. songs of encouragement. Well, guys, we'd love to hear it if you'd play it for us. All yeah. right, thank you. In death by love fallen world was overcome he wears the scars of our freedom in his name all our fears are swept away he never fails so take heart his love lead us through the night. Hold on to hope and take courage again. has overcome all our failures and all our fear God our love he has overcome all our heartache and all our pain God our healer he has overcome all our burdens and all our shame, God, our freedom, He has overcome. Yeah, it kind of goes on. <laughs> 
Yeah, and uh, just continues to get bigger and bigger. Yeah, man, That's what a good. what a great song of I mean, just encouragement and. Um, Man, definitely something the church needs to hear worldwide and in places where it's struggling. Yeah. yeah. Um, but walk us through what you're playing. I think you're in the key of B, uh, if I can tell from the side. Yeah, here. yeah, yeah, yeah. The key of B. <laughs> but um, yeah, just kind of walk us through um, uh, just the chords that you're playing there and some of the positions. Yeah, it's um, it's pretty simple. So I, again, keeping it really open, and um, uh, you can strum it or pluck it, whatever you like. But so um, it's just the verses G to C. Back to the G, D on F sharp, E minor. Goes to the G, up to the C, G. Back to the E minor. And then um, it goes straight to the C, and then kicks up to the chorus, um, D, E minor, C, G. It's like a D on F sharp. D. And just back to the top. Um, so that's kind of it. And then um, the, the bridge, um, it, it kind of, it's something that builds and you can do as much of it as you like or none of it or all of it. Um, but it just kind of starts uh, really simple on the E minus, it goes, C, G, D and F sharp. Just kind of keeps building on that. Um, yeah, and then if you want to, you can change the chords up. It's the kind of melody where you could probably actually play any chord underneath it in that right. um, in that scale, and and uh, and it would kind of probably work. Um, um, and we often change it up as it builds, kind of. Um, just kind of do this thing where it kind of steps up. So from the G, A minor, to the, um, what's that, B? Oh, C, sorry, excuse me. So it's G, to C, to the D, E minor, steps up to the G, and you can kind of just step it up anyway. Yeah, man. Well, guys, thanks so much for sharing it with us. Great song. Cool. Thanks.